All right, so we're going to start off the show with the elephant in the room. Connor, I'm <laughs> going to allow you to explain yourself. Wait, Kate, actually, context Kate, in case people didn't see the live show, kind of explain what happened this weekend a little bit. Well, Super Rewind, you and Connor had a bet going that because Connor's army team played your UTSA football team a few months ago, and the bet was that no, you got to explain that part because I don't understand gambling or what the fuck I do. <laughs> means. I don't get it. <laughs> no, we'll just keep going from there. That was good. So okay. <laughs> what happened? UTSA played West Point and the, the official Vegas line, I believe, was at 14 after like at the opening of the week. I got Connor to agree that a 24 point spread for the game. If we if my team lost and you and army covered, then I would wear nothing but army gear to the game. If. Connor's team lost. He would sing Anchors Away at the Barstool live show. Well, Connor's team did lose. And what did you do, Connor? Whoa, let's just play the clip. Let's just play what he did. You and Uncle Chaps had a bet earlier yeah. this year. It was UTSA, where Uncle Chaps went to school, versus Army. And we have the video of how that got set up. He gave me 24 points. If UTSA covers the spread, Cons has to sing Anchors Away at the Army-Navy game whenever we have a big-ass tailgate there mm. on the Barstool College Game Day show. Big fan of that. And if <laughs> UTSA doesn't, I will go wearing nothing but Army clothes. So Ooh. that would, that would hurt. Would that, hurt your, would that have hurt your feelings? What? Did you guys win? Yeah, we won, oh, okay. but Chaps railroaded me because the spread was 24, and then it dropped to 17, <laughs> and we covered that spread. Well, no, it's when you lock it in. No, that's when you lock it in. Down, yeah. You can't cancel. How, 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 did, how did it go down? So I took advantage of cons in a strategic manner because Army had just lost a close game to somebody they should have beat, and so I knew that he had tied one on at the game, was a little bit too drunk, and wasn't paying attention what the spread was. The spread at the time was 14, and I got to him to agree to 24. <laughs> so the, the final score was what, 31-13? 31-13 was the final score. So that means that you have to sing for us, chap, or Cogs. So oh, take it away. All right. uh, this is going to hurt you, isn't it? The Army team's a pride of dream of every heart and gray. The Army line, you'll ever find a terror in the fray. And this when the team is ready so for the black and gray good. and gold, we're always here with song and cheer, and this is the tale we're told. The Army team, ba da ba da, ra, 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 boo, ha, brave old Army team. <laughs> Are you going to do the Navy after? Gray. This is right. Look at these guys, Fight love this. Fight on to victory. For that's the fearless Army way. Double fisting over here. And now you're going to do the Navy. I mean, uh, and now you're going to do the Navy. That's a real, you're, you're, you're a real lack partners. of disrespect. A real He's, lack of disrespect. Right. I know. It's, it's, a Lannister never pays his bet. Or don't, they always pay their bets. He oh. doesn't. Dave, oh. what are we I doing mean, here? I mean, obviously, I mean, he wasn't going to do it. A man of integrity. I don't know the song, but I will try to sing it. Okay, okay, I was going to say, Dan, yeah. can you sing it for us? I don't have the Navy. Damn, I that's mean, tough. I might have to suspend him from the podcast again. That's how we're going to end the show. I hate to do it, but I might have to. Now... This, I want to preface this by saying this is a big time betting company. We follow through on our bets. Mm. I've been involved personally in lots of bets that have brought me physical pain, anguish, embarrassment, all, th all those things. Even recently, I got my entire body waxed live on radio, had to go out there where I was just in nothing but underwear. Mm -hmm. I have. That was painful uh, what else for I many people. Yeah, that was painful for lots of people to see. So there's been painful bets that I've gone through. And then the 24-hour radio. 24-hour radio hour. did that one. I, I came up to New York to do that 24 or 14-hour radio as well. Connor, on the other hand, did not do that. Why not, Cons? You hopped up on stage in front of hundreds and hundreds, and yes. you went against a bet that yes. you had lost. I mean, first of all, I made the mistake of betting on anything that had to do with the Army-Navy game. Chaps and I, I was okay with making the bet with Army and, and Chaps. Uh, I, I often say, people ask me, like, oh, what do you think is going to happen with Army today and, on various Saturdays? And I always say, I'm the worst person to ask about Army because no matter what, no matter who we're playing, no matter how many injuries we have, no matter the weather, I always believe in my heart of hearts that we can win the football game. Mm-hmm. That said, I should have just figured out some sort of other outcome for the UTSA Army game and just stuck it to that game because involving the Army-Navy game brings in a whole added echelon 
of consequence. Because if you had slung anchors away up there, you would, either way, it was a lose-lose for you. You were going to get super shit on either way. So I reached out to some confidants prior to going on stage uh, a couple days before, and I said, you know, what should I do? And I was pre- excuse me, presented with a few different options, and I, I went with the option that I felt was the best move. Now, uh, not honoring a bet, not great. However, what would have been worse was if I sang that song. And in fact, I ran into someone after the game, a very, very well-respected player, Army football player, and he said, hey, I heard you sang Anchors Away before the game. And I said, no, actually, I didn't. I ended up singing I'm Brave Old Army Team. He goes, well, that's good, because I wouldn't have talked to you if you had sang that song ever again, and I would have never forgave you for that. Petty like, Army. Petty, petty, petty. Hmm. Well, no, I just I don't think it's petty. I just think there's just well, something more. Well, then don't more. make the bet. Like, that's the thing. Don't make the bet. Like, if you do it, don't make the bet. I could have said it would have been bad for me to go out there with my wife, seeing me in my underwear on TV and going on stool scenes and doing all I could have gotten out of fucking bets. Don't make the bet. If you're not going to make the bet, I think you're not going to fall through, don't make the bet. I I think that all that pales in comparison. And I'll just say, I don't think you guys can fully appreciate what it means to be part of that rivalry. So you don't really understand how hard that would have been for me to do and how many well, people don't I would have bet, be- betrayed. Well, don't make the bet. Uh, you way. know what? In fact, we can go back to the, we can go back to the 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 uh we can go back to the tape. You made the bet. I, I just agreed to it. I never even came up with that idea because that What does that I, mean? Agreeing to the bet yeah. is part of the bet. Yeah but I didn't you make agreed it, to it. Well, I didn't make it. That was part of the day. Chaps, yeah. what's your what are what are any thoughts on that? Any further thoughts? I don't know. I actually might go on the yak and discuss it with the boys because I've had lots of options in the he- in my head about what it could possibly be. I think that this is a this is a big thing. Like just like when Davy Mouse didn't go out there and do his thing and didn't chain himself, this goes. I think it takes a step further because it's two podcasters on the same podcast. You agree to a bet. You got to do it, or you don't make the bet. And you could have even approached me before and be like, hey, I'm not going to do this. This is the reason why. We could have came up with something else, and I probably would have let you out of it. Well, you're just saying that now to make me feel worse about the situation. <laughs> no, I, I don't think believe- that what you did was bullshit. I think that we are a company that goes I along thought, and be like, hey, I it's thought content. it was a like, good you, curveball. I thought it was a good curveball to go up there, and everyone's expecting Definitely me to not. do one thing. It was a thing. terrible curveball. It would have been and like I think asking the me to get up there. The internet say that. It would have been like getting me to get up there and say that I don't like a Wawa meatball hoagie smothered in horseradish sauce. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but uh, anyway, uh, we did thank you, Cons, because we did get to go down on the field, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. And I got to bring my dad down on the field, which mm-hmm. was super cool. Even just as, for him as an Eagles fan to get to step and walk around in the on lake the field, was, yeah. was super awesome. Um, But he just afterwards, as we're leaving, he's asking the Secret Service people. He's like, so where's the president's car? Where's this? I was like, you can't just ask people that. He put his head directly against the army touchdown cannon. He was like, (laughs) can I get a picture of the cannon? They're like, sure. He puts his face directly on the part where the little puff comes out. Don't want to put your head near. Don't want to do that. Cannon. Yeah. He got his picture. Even though it's blank. Yeah. He got his picture. I'll actually do this. uh, If you're listening to the show, because I know our listeners are passionate. Go to our iTunes comment section, comment on the iTunes what Khan's punishment should be, and then we will tally them up. We'll tally up what the best ideas were, and then we'll decide on Friday's episode. I think that's fair. There you fair. go. I think.